Hello everyone, today I'll be showing a video on tips for the management of zona weakness. Uh, this was an intermittent cataract and I started uh, the nucleus fragmentation part and uh, suddenly I realized that uh, there is an area of uh, zonal weakness. You can see that the capsule is trying to curl up and uh, this is the time where there is a need to stop the uh, any procedure for nu nucleus fragmentation or any manipulation in the antechamber. Fill the chamber tightly so that uh, you won't uh, create rupture in the anterior face of vitreous because if you continue that then the vitreous will enter in the antechamber and will create a lot of problems. And always keep uh, these gadgets into capsular tension rings or such gadgets ready in your theater because sometime during emergency you may require uh, those things. The tip of tip is that uh, always uh, insert the endocapsular ring towards the direction of zonular weakness. On. Do not try to attempt to insert the tension ring against the direction of the zonular weakness because Finally, you will create uh, more damage to the zonular area and uh, you'll get more of uh, zonal dilation and uh, uh, rupture. You can use uh, forcep uh, to hold and uh, insert the bag um, with the handshake technique. I personally um, use to Sinsky hook and insert it and lock the into capsular ring um, tip with the second uh, sense cue you can uh, you can easily dial inside the bag now um, the uh, you can use FACO for uh, complete your fragmentation part reduce the bottle height and uh, if you're using active fluid assist then uh, reduce the intraorbital pressure and uh, complete your uh, fragmentation and now eye is ready for implantation thank you very much for watching